about your family before I head home today, I want to kind of give you a last encouragement for our 40 days of hope. Today is day 40. And for some of you, wow, it seems like it's been a real long time. For others of you, it's like, wow, it's, it's gone quick. Uh, don't forget that in some uh, following videos we're putting together, Cassie's putting together some moments of hope. And so we want you, we want you to take a video or a picture and a story and send it into us. And we're calling it Moments of Hope. So if there's been a faith step, is there, if there's been a time when during this season when you've really encountered God or you've grown in your faith, we want to hear that story. But for this last 40 days of hope, I thought I'd bring us back to a cornerstone verse that's been a part of our journey here at our church. And it's 1 Peter chapter 1, and it starts in verse 3, and it's all about hope. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. According to his great mercy, he has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. That you and I can have this hope in our lives, not just reserved for when we get to heaven, but it can be a living hope within us. And why can we have that living hope? Verse 4. Because we have this inheritance that Jesus has reserved for us that's imperishable, undefiled, unfading, and it's kept. You have a reservation in heaven because of Jesus. You have an inheritance because of him. Who by God's power, and here's what I think we need to hear today, by God's power are being guarded through faith for salvation. Right now in this season of our lives, God is guarding you. He is keeping you. And in verse 6, we can rejoice in that, though now for a little while, if necessary, you have been grieved by various trials. And I think that's true. There's been various trials in all of our lives over the last six weeks, right? And we have all had our ups and downs. But we can rejoice in that because as we've been grieved by these various trials, we know that Jesus has for us an inheritance. And knowing that we have that inheritance causes us to be filled with hope today and to be sharing that hope today. Let me pray for us. God, I pray that we could make this a reality, move from our head to our hearts, this living hope that we have found in your son, Jesus. Make it, make, help it to be a difference wherever we go. Amen.